What's good with y'all? It's Mr. Detox here again. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to create a password page for your Shopify. Cause a lot of y'all been asking me in the comments how you make a password page. And it's really easy, but I know a lot of y'all don't know Shopify too well, but I'm gonna make it real easy for y'all today in this video. And if you got any questions or anything else, just leave it in the comments and I'll make a video about it. If you don't know what a password page is, basically whenever you lock your website, before you drop some clothes every time i drop i usually lock up my website it displays the password page so that the only thing my customers see is where they can enter their phone number and then they see the countdown timer how long it's gonna take for the drop to come and the reason that's important is because you want your customers to get reminded when you're gonna drop if you post your hoodies on tiktok or instagram people gonna see it and they're gonna like it but then they might forget about it so they don't buy it so what you want to tell them to do is click the link in your bio, you know, go to your website and then it's going to show them the page where they can enter their phone number or email. So whenever you drop, you can let them know that you drop so they don't forget, you know, and this has sold out like all of my drops. This will made my brand over six figures within a few months. And I highly recommend y'all use what I'm about to tell y'all. All right. So y'all going to come to Shopify and then go to themes over here in the left corner themes. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do the Don theme first, cause that's like the basic one. And then I'm gonna show y'all how to edit it on the theme that I use. So we're just gonna go up here on home page and then type in password and then it's gonna pull this up. We're gonna go to theme settings right here, click logo, and then you're gonna put your logo right there. So let me find mine. All right, so I'm gonna put the white logo and then make the background black. Let's see, there you go. And then right here, I'm going I'm to take this picture off because I don't know what this is. Edit so we can see the actual hoodies. You can make the picture darker like that. I like to do that. If it's in the way, you can move it by clicking this right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to move that down to the bottom. And then we can change what this say. Drop the Friday 13th. I think next Friday is Friday the 13th. Ain't that crazy? I don't know, I might be tripping. I gotta look at it. But yeah, we're dropping Friday 13th. Be the first to know when we launch. You can change all of that. And then this is where they can enter their emails. And also, I'm gonna show you how to remove this. This store will be powered by Shopify. And then remove this. Cause you don't have to have that on there if you don't want to. And I don't like to have it on mine. And then you could change this color, what that is. I'm gonna change it to black because the white, it don't look real. It's like, I don't know, I don't like it. And then I'm gonna change this on the bottom. And y'all could y'all could add a whole lot of different stuff on here. So now y'all see this is what the password page will look like. This is like a real basic one, you know. I'm gonna show y'all how to make it a lot better, but you just have to use a different theme. The Dawn theme is like for basic, everybody uses, but I use a different theme, it's called reformation. And I'm about to show y'all how to use that right now. Before I show y'all that, I'm gonna just explain to y'all what this is. The customers will put their emails in, that way it'll create a list for you on your end of the store. So let's say 100 people sign up on this list. Now, whenever it's time for you to drop, you're gonna send out an email to 100 different people. Like you could do it all at once. And it's gonna let them know that you actually dropped and all your stuff just came out so they can buy it if they want to. But what I always tell people is, if you selling to people like my age, like I'm young, I'm 18, we don't really check our emails as much as we do with text. So I much rather get people phone numbers instead of emails. So I'm gonna show y'all how to add people's phone numbers on here instead of emails. Real quick, I'm gonna put y'all on this Chrome extension that I use. It's called Simple Select. If you're a clothing brand owner or you wanna start a clothing brand, you need to install this Chrome extension. It's free, so it ain't gonna cost you no extra money, but it's a helpful tool. I recommend all of y'all that's watching this, at least just try it out, it's free. You have nothing to lose. And I'm gonna show y'all what it does. So I'm on Google right now. I'm gonna come over here to extensions and then click Simple Select. And once it comes up, it has different categories that you could choose from to find out different companies that are meant for clothing brand owners. Let's say you wanted an emailing company. It, it pulls up a bunch of different email companies. It ranks them by best to worst. I know some of y'all have heard of MailChimp. I see it on TV all the time. They just have a lot of different resources for you all categorized right here on your home page so you don't have to go searching. It makes everything a lot easier. They have where you can get blanks from. This is really helpful. And these are all over the world. They have some in the United States and China, everywhere. They have print on demand companies on here. I've seen Printful before. I've seen Printify before. There's some on here that I've never seen. So I recommend y'all download this and try it out. If you're on TikTok, I know y'all be hearing them AI voices. So here it shows you 
AI voice generators where you could get that made and then it compares how much they cost a month shows all of the unique features the basic info all of that and then also it shows you photo editing softwares like Adobe Canva which if you're not using those you need to but yeah this it's just a little tool you know it's nothing crazy it's free so like I said y'all might as well get it you might as well take advantage of it it comes in real handy for me so I recommend y'all go and install that right now. I'll leave the link to download it in the description if y'all want to check it out. All right, so y'all gonna want to install this app called SMS Bump on your Shopify app store. And then we're gonna click on it, open it up. It's gonna have you make an account and all of that. All right, so you gonna want to come right here to where it says collect subscribers. Mine is already right here, it's called em embedded form. But y'all's is gonna be up here. You gonna scroll until you find it, embedded form. So I'm gonna click on mine and I'm gonna click edit. And then this is where you design it. So I'm gonna put full zips drop and then you could change what this says. You could change the color of this, you could change all of that. So we're gonna go to what it says after. It'll say you will receive a text and free express shipping when we drop. You could change all of this. You could change the color of this, I think. Yeah, you could change. So then after that, we're just gonna click publish. And then depending on what kind of theme you have, it'll tell you how to install it. So with mine, I have a Shopify theme 2.0. So I'm gonna go back over here to my theme, click customize, and then we're gonna go to the password page. And then y'all see it's right here, but this is how you would add it if you don't know how to add it. Just type in SMS bump. It'll say SMS embedded form, and that's what this is right here. Full just dropped Friday, October 13th. And then, so this is what I was telling y'all about the theme that I use, it's called reformation. You can add a countdown timer as well, and then a picture, a big picture behind it. So I'm gonna change this real quick. You can upload your pictures right here, and then pick the picture that you wanna show on here. And I'm gonna show this one. And y'all see how cool that look. And then the timer, let me change the timer. Countdown banner. By the way, this countdown thing is only available on certain themes. And this theme cost me like $350, but if y'all wanna buy this theme from me, I'll sell it to you for 50. Just email me or comment or text me on Instagram and I, I got you. But not all themes have this. Like, you got to pay for the themes like this. I'm going to go to October 13th at 6 p.m. And now y'all see us counting down. And yeah, this is how I like it. And this theme also has a lot of other cool stuff like this scrolling text. So yeah, y'all hit me up about the theme if you want to buy it. That's all you need for the countdown page. Now I'm gonna show y'all how to remove the, this store will be powered by Shopify. All right, so you're gonna go back to the themes area. We're gonna click on the three dots, edit default theme content. So all you gotta do is scroll down or type in this shop will be powered by. And here it is right here. So I'm gonna just erase this. I'm gonna erase this, all of that. And then just click save. Now I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like without that. I'm gonna click on customize, go to password. And now y'all see it's nothing down here because I removed it. I think it look a lot better. And then you can remove this also. I will remove this. That's how you make the password page. I hope y'all learned something in this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. And if you didn't or you still have a question about something, just comment and I'll look at it and answer it and try to make a video about it. But appreciate y'all for tuning in and I'm out.